क्वेश्चन वन फाइंड द सम बाय सूटेबल अरेंजमेंट वेल व्हाट इज सूटेबल अरेंजमेंट सूटेबल अरेंजमेंट इज अ प्रोसेस ऑफ अटेनिंग द नंबर्स इन सच अ वे दैट आर कैलकुलेशंस बिकम इजियर टू सॉल्व सो लुक सेवन प्लस थ्री वुड गिव यू समथिंग इन जीरोज एंड एडिंग जीरोज इज अ सिंपल टास्क सो वी विल फर्स्ट अरेंज इट एज एट थर्टी सेवन प्लस थ्री सिक्सटी थ्री प्लस टू हंड्रेड एट एंड वेन वी एड दीज टू ग्रुप नंबर्स वी गेट सेवन प्लस थ्री इज टेन इट वुड अगेन गिव अस टेन वन कैरी एलेवन प्लस वन गिव यू ट्वेल्व सो लुक हाउ दिस कैलकुलेशन बिकम इजियर नाउ इट इज़ वेरी इजी टू एड ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड विथ टू हंड्रेड एट इट वुड बी सिंपल Fourteen hundred and eight. So, this is all about suitable rearrangement. So we get four hundred, fourteen hundred eight. Now let's do B part. Here we will arrange these two numbers and these two numbers. We are just checking the last digit. because that would make us easier to do so here we get 0 5 and again one carry that is 3 so look 35 is achieved now here 7 plus 3 is 10 5 plus 4 plus 1 is again 10 it gives us 1100 now we can easily add 3500 plus 1100 to give us 4600 so that makes your question number b question 2 find the product by suitable rearrangement again the same process but in case of addition we are going to multiply so 52 is 100 it is very simple into 1768 now using our old trick that is we will just place zero zeros and write rest of the number as it is so it gives us 176800 b part 25 into 4 is 100 into 166 again it becomes easier that gives us 100 this part 125 into 8 is 1000 into 291 to give a 2 like 91000 here 625 into 16 will make us something in terms of zero zeros so what is it after multiplying we get 10000 into 279 now simply adding the zeros in the last E part, two eighty-five into five into sixty. Here we will multiply five into sixty because it gives us five six of thirty, and zero added three hundred into two eighty-five. Again, we we can place zero zero as it is, and now multiplying two eighty-five by three, we can multiply it here also. Look, five three is a fifteen, so we will write five. One carry. Twenty-four plus one, twenty-five. Two carry. Six plus two is eight. So it is eighty-five thousand five hundred. F part. Here we will arrange in such a manner, as shown. One twenty-five into eight is nothing but it is one thousand. So we will write one thousand. And again, forty into twenty-five is again one thousand. Do it this way: twenty-five into four is hundred, and one zero, so it becomes one thousand. So again, adding six zeros now. It gives you ten lakhs. That is your question number two. Third, find the value of the following. Now, 
we have to use properties that we have started in this exercise. Look, 297 is common, take it as common. And now 17 and 3 would be added up because addition sign is there. That is distributive property. So 297 into 20 gives you when you multiply it, you can easily multiply it. We're just writing it straight away 5940 as you answer. Here again, 54,279 is common. 92 plus 8 would give you 100. So we would write 54279 into 100. Bracket sign denotes multiplication. So it is 54279 adding 20 at the last. It's your wish to change them into Indian form or international form. Here again, clearly visible, 81265 is common. So 169 minus 69. Remember, there's a minus sign. These are getting subtracted. So it turns out to be 100. Again, it becomes easier to multiply it, simply adding two zeros at the last. That is your question number C. Here, a little bit tricky. What we will do is first analyze the problem. So we will write 3845 into 5 into 782 as it is. Plus 769 again. Now we will split 25 as 5 into 5 into 218. This will come to you by practice. So look, when we multiply it, it turns out to be 3845. The question will always be given to you in such a form that it becomes some pair. You have to just ponder over it. Again plus 3845. When we multiply it into 5 into 218. Now look, something common? Yes. 3845 into 5 is common, so let's multiply it. You can see in both the sides. It is nothing but after multiplication 19 to 2 to 5. So we will take it as common. So let's take it as 192 to 5. Now what we are left with? 782 plus, there's a plus sign, plus 218. So now look, these two numbers makes 1000 when we add them. So it becomes easier now to multiply it with 19 to 5. It will give you, this is multiply, bracket sign denotes multiplication, 19 to 5, 0, 0, 0. So that is your question number third D part. Fourth, find the product using suitable properties. Again, what we have studied in this chapter is properties, so we are using it. So let's do it first. A part. 738 is a bit complex, just write it as it is. What we can do with 103 is 100 plus 3, it can be written. So what we have, we are splitting it. Now we are using distributive property that you have studied in this exercise using distributive DIS, TR, I, B U T I V E, distributive property. So it becomes easier. Why we use this distributive properties to make our calculation easier by splitting. So when we multiply this, multiply this is two, two, one, four, adding them up, a simple task. You've been doing it from past few exercises. So it is 76014. Now B part. Again, what we, how we come to conclusion that which number we have to split is that is the number which is very easier. 
which appears to you as easier look 854 cannot be split cannot be split it but we can split 102 as 100 plus 2 the rest of the procedure remains same we are directly applying distributive property that is first multiplying 854 with 100 so it turns out to be 87108 now C part 258 is a complex so we will write it as it is but we have opportunity here with 1008 1000 plus 8 so we will grab such an opportunity and make a problem solve 258 multiplied with 1000 now we will multiply the other part and we are using distributive property in these questions so when we add to the final answer it comes 260064 now the last part we can split 1005 into 1000 plus 5 and then applying distributive property this is not O written above it this is D so we have 840 into by using distributive property so when we add this it turns out to be 168840 as you answer for question number 4 a taxi driver filled his car petrol tank with 40 liters of petrol on Monday the next day he filled the tank with 50 liters of petrol if the cost of the petrol is rupees 44 per liter how much did he spend in all the petrol so it's an easy question Monday capacity he filled 40 liters and next day is obviously Tuesday if the days are consecutive Tuesday capacity is 50 liters so we will write 50 liter so now just add first of all total capacity he filled in both the days is 40 plus 50 gives you 90 liter now what we are given with is cost per liter so therefore we will write cost per liter is rupees 44 now it's simple a multiplication problem we will multiply 44 with 90 in order to get total spent money in filling the petrol 90 into 44 would give you when you multiply it rupees 3960 rupees in two days Sixth, a vendor supplies 32 liters of milk to a hotel in morning and 68 liters in the evening. Per liter cost is rupees 15. How much money is due with a vendor? So, morning capacity or quantity sent to the hotel is 32 liters. Evening quantity is 68 liters. So total quantity in the day would be morning plus evening quantity it turns out to be 100 liter. Now given is cost per liter that is rupees 15 so we are asked to calculate how much money total dues with the vendor. So it would be a again multiplication with 15 into total quantity that is 100 it turns out to be 1500 rupees per day rupees 1500 deuce